Let's see your new toy, Ellie. Show everybody what you got from the bins. Ellie got a Squishmallow from the bins. Don't worry, it's not one that's worth very much. I decided to get her a stuffy from the bins because she always tears it all out very quickly, as you can see. So if we get them when they're cheap, it won't matter, right, Ellie? Here she goes, trying to pull it out. Hey guys, I'm here with my weekly What Sold video. I'm gonna let you know what's selling for me right now on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. I had another pretty steady week of sales, so happy to report that. I hope your sales are going good. If you are a reseller, subscribe down below because I do videos at least three times a week. And I know for me at least, YouTube is what helps my business the most. Free videos on YouTube. There are courses people sell that you can pay for. That's up to you. I have never done that. I've learned everything that I know for free. So I'm gonna let you know what sold for me this past week. I think that helps me the most for when I go out to the thrift stores, knowing what to pick up, what's currently selling, and how much it's selling for. I did have a few sales on Facebook Marketplace this week, which if you know me and you watch my videos before, you know that that's not very normal because for some reason I just can't figure out Facebook Marketplace. Um, I understand how to use it. I run a sale. I just can't seem to get very many sales going. So I'm gonna tell you I had four sales this week. One was this Disney Parks Tangled Pascal Shoulder Pal. Grace went through her room and cleaned out some stuff that she just doesn't use or doesn't want anymore. This was something she got at Disney World a few years back. It actually has like a little magnetic thing. So like one magnet goes under here and then the little like stuffed animal or whatever it is can sit on your shoulder. So it was really cute. Anyway, it sold very quickly on Marketplace for $31.20. So I'm really glad about that. Next was a Lululemon top. This was a black crop top, long sleeve, stretchy. I don't know the size, but it did sell very, very quickly. So activewear is selling really good for me right now, especially some of these better known brands or more desirable brands like Lululemon. Um, this one was getting attention on all of the four sites that I post on. It did sell on Facebook Marketplace for $36.80. So that's amazing. A really good sale. I think I paid four or $5 for it. Next was a Reebok pink purple half zip pullover jacket. This, however, was not an amazing sale. I got this, I think, a long time ago in a thread up rescue box, maybe an active box, maybe just a mixed women's clothing. I don't know what Ellie's doing back there. Um, it sold for $9.60, so glad to move it. And then just last night, I sold this Miracle Suit, which I don't know if I've ever found, but it is a Bolo swimwear brand. So make sure you're on the lookout for it. Mine was in a size large tall. It was black with pink flowers in the side and that sold for $40. I did have it listed higher, but someone messaged me asking me if I would take any lower. So I just said 40 was the lowest I was willing to go. She went ahead and purchased it and I have it out on my front porch for the mailman to pick up. The mailman forgot to come pick up my packages one day last week. I don't know, I don't understand. And I have a different mail carrier all the time. So it's not like it's just one person. I schedule them online. And it's like, I don't know, but it's very frustrating. <laughs> I mean, I know I could just go take them in myself, but it's kind of a pain and this is super convenient. So hopefully that doesn't happen too much more. Okay, we are going to move on to Mercari next. These are sales from December 30th through January 6th today. Um, if you guys could also, side note, pray for Ryan. He is up in Wisconsin on a church camp. They kind of do this little like fun winter camp for the kids. So. He's gonna be doing different like worship time, um, learning about the Bible, devotions, things like that. And then they're gonna mix in some fun. They can rent skis and snowboard. I think it's like on a, like a winter park area. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't really look that much into it. But anyway, pray that he stays safe. His um, knee issues sometimes bother him when he's doing activities. I don't know if you guys know, of, I think I might've said it on the channel a long time ago, but he has this issue with his knee because he's growing so fast and basically like the tendons in the bone like are not connected it sounds horrible and he forgot his biofreeze <laughs> so pray that like he doesn't have any pain with his knee so he can enjoy his time just pray that he would just continue to grow in his walk with christ and just make good memories and good friendships so thank you so much my praying friends mercari the first thing i sold were these vans disney 101 dalmatians suede high top sneakers these sold very quickly for 62 dollars. they're super cute I got these at a Plato's closet. And now that I'm looking at these, I was like, did I include these in last week's video? But it says the sale was on January 1st, so I shouldn't have, unless that's when I got paid. If I did, I'm sorry. 
Anyway, always look up the band's collaborations because they can be worth good money. Next was a pair of Free People Blue High Rise Terry Cloth Shorts. I got these in my swap box with Matt. For, sold these very quickly for $23. I sold this torrid red black plaid multicolor long sleeve top. This was in a size 4X, which does really good for me, and it sold for $26. Next was a review raffia half dome tassel clutch. I don't even know where this came from. Maybe a thread up box, maybe one of my very first flip locks when I wasn't getting very good things. It sold for $14. I sold this Patagonia green long sleeve women's top. This came to me in a flip lot and it sold for $25. And another item from a flip lot, Polo Ralph Lauren men's long sleeve red shirt, and that sold for $23. So those are my Mercari sales. As always, just a few, but it's super easy for me to cross post. I just use a site called, I think it's Crosslist Magic or Magic Crosslister. I can't remember, but it's free, which I like. Okay, let's move on to eBay next. First was this cabbie jacket. The background looks like I didn't whiten it out for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that because I usually always do. Uh, anyway, it sold for $39, so that's great. I now I'm using my light box, which I love. I have that linked down below. Um, I don't know why I didn't get it sooner, but I'm super glad that I have it now. Next was a Disney Beauty and the Beast stained glass women's sleeveless dress. This was also Grace's. She's grown out of that style. It sold for $16.70. I sold these Fig Zamora teal high rise scrub pants from my swap box with Matt. They were in a size extra, extra small. So I think that that's why I had to sell them for less and they sold for $20. Next was a J crew blue Merino wool pocket tunic sweater. This came in one of my very first flip lots and it sold for $15. Next was a new to me brand, possibly pronounced Inoa, I N O A H. It was very like art to wear floral tunic. I did look it up in the thrift store because it said made in the USA in the tag, which sometimes if it seems quality and it's not made in China, I will look it up. Um, comps were pretty good around 35 to 40 and I did sell it within a day for $35. So new brand for you to look out for. Next was a pair of NUX navy blue leggings. These were in a size extra small. These came in a flip lot. I don't normally sell this brand and they sold for $16. Here is another Bolo brand slash item, Z Coil. These are white walking comfort shoes. You will be able to tell what these are very easily because they literally have like a spring on the heel. They're weird. They sold for $64.70 very, very quickly. So glad to pick those up. I paid $10 for those at a thrift store. Next were a pair of Doc Martens men's steel toe leather work boots. I actually got these at Style Encore thinking they were women's and I guess they did too because they don't sell any men's there. And I paid $25 for them, I think. Um, and they sold for $75, so that's great. I sold these Prana Gray Trail Hiking Outdoor Pants in a size small. They sold very quickly. I didn't even have time to put them away in inventory and they sold for $28. Next is a pair of Little Girls Gold Glitter Crocs. I got these from the bins. I am starting to go to my Omaha bins a little bit more. Um, the shoes can be good. The clothes are hit and miss usually not good actually. Um, but these are super light. So I ended up picking them up with a few other pair of kids Crocs and they sold for 12. Next was a Joie silk floral tank top. I do not pick up this brand hardly ever anymore, but it did come in a flip lot and it sold for $12. Another flip item, Polo Ralph Lauren Navy Blue Performance Short Sleeve Pony Logo Men's Shirt. That sold for $20.70. Intimately Free People Green Velvet Tank Top in a size small, sold for $24.70. Next is a Barefoot Dreams, no, not a cardigan. I was gonna say a cardigan. It was a pullover half zip sweater. I feel like these used to sell for more, at least for me, because I looked up comps on this particular sweater and it was selling between like $20 and $35. Uh, I don't know. So mine sold for $43 with free shipping on eBay um, super quickly again, so that's great. Next was a philosophy skirt. This was plaid knee length pencil skirt, sold for 10, came from a flip lot, had some other items in there that I wanted. So that was just like a filler item. Uh, this Catherine's top sold very quickly. If you watch my channel, you know how much, I don't know if I would say I love selling Catherine's, but it's like, I like picking it up in the bigger sizes because it usually sells quickly for me. And this one is no different. It sold for $28.70 and it was in a size 4X. So... Go ahead and pick up that Catherine's. Here's another Catherine sale. This was a plus size t-shirt, three quarter sleeve. This sold for $19.
Next was a pair of Ariat boots. I got these at the bins. They were a men's size 10 and they sold for $50. Next were a pair of kids Merrill Blue Bear Access shoes. These were also from the bins. So very low cost of goods. They were lightweight under a pound. They sold for $24.70. Another pair of Bolo brand boots. These were Tony Lama gray distressed cowboy Western boots, men's size nine and a half. I got these at the bins as well. Um, I was going after somebody who was just rifling through the shoes like at lightning speed. And apparently they didn't see these or maybe they didn't want them. I don't know. But I was like, I will gladly take Tony Lama. And I sold them for $64.70. I sold this Ann Taylor Loft Coral Pink Women's Top. This came in a flip flop a while back, sold for $10. Another Bolo brand, just like the brand up above, Ariat. So I sold two pair of Ariat this week. These were black leather heritage laser boots, men's in size 11 and a half. Again, from the bins, sold for $64.70. Next was the Lululemon tank top, which is surprising because for some reason I can't sell Lululemon tank tops much anymore, but this one sold in a day. It was orange and it was in a size medium and it sold for $20. I sold these Assets by Spanx, women's black high rise mesh leggings. The Assets by Spanx is like a lower end but they still sell sometimes, especially in the larger sizes. So I sold those for $27. Next was a pair of men's shoes. These were Cole Haan green camo canvas slip-on loafers. They sold for $26.70. I sold these Levi's 710 super skinny jeans in a size 28. I am hardly ever picking up skinny jeans anymore. I feel like they do well if it's a really, really good brand or plus size. Um, so glad to move these at $15. I sold this Lauren Ralph Lauren black wrap dress. This is not a brand I would normally pick up, but this was new with tags. It also came in a flip lot, which is why I had it. It did sell for $40.70, so I guess I should maybe kind of try to pay attention to that brand a little bit more. Next was the brand Attention. This was a black faux leather skirt. This came in a really crappy thread up mixed women's clothing box that I got a long time ago, and it sold for $8, so goodbye. Ultimately, Free People ivory ribbed bralette crop top came in a flip lot, sold for $13. Polo Ralph Lauren women's v-neck cable knit Pima cotton sweater sold for $28.70. And that is it for my eBay sales. So pretty good there, pretty consistent. I am having a little bit of issues with a sale. So let me show you. I think I might've figured it out, but I'm waiting to see if it kicks in. So I was gonna try to have a 40% off sale this weekend on my eBay store, just because why not? And <laughs> I went in last night and I started my promotion under my promotions tab. I'm not filming this on my computer. So I was like, maybe I can show you. So it's under marketing. If you can see that and, um, you can pick promotion. And I think what I did last night is I created a promotion of an order discount instead of a sale event plus markdown. Those are the different options that you have. Again, hopefully you can see that. And so when I, I think I did order discount and what was happening is when someone would click into the listing, it showed extra 40% off up in the top left. Whereas normally when I do my sales or promotions or whatever, it'll have the price slashed out in red and that it will have the sale price right next to it. So when people are searching, they'll see that right away. But I think that when it's not, when you can't tell what it is until you click into the listing, I don't think that's as, as enticing to buyers. So I think I might've done it the wrong way. I think I should have done it as the sale event plus markdown. So I ended the current order discount and I started the sale event plus markdown. I feel like that might be what I did wrong. So I think that might've been the problem because I know every other time I've done a sale before I have that like red line and that's what I want. <laughs> and I think that might've been an issue when I tried to do it on Ryan's store too. So I don't know. I know it can take a couple of hours for the sale to kick in. So I'm going to wait through this morning and see, I did live chat with an eBay representative, which is so nice. I wish that Poshmark had better customer support, but they just kept saying like, well, I can see that it's still a sale. And I just kept trying to ask them like, where's the red line? And they didn't have any idea. So hopefully I figured it out myself. If you guys are like big time eBay sellers or you're really knowledgeable about it and you know about that, please comment down below and help me. Hopefully by the time this video goes out, I will have it figured out, but we'll see. Okay, we're gonna go into Poshmark last. My Poshmark sales have been pretty good. I have got my pending balance up where I like it to be above 1K. That's amazing. If I could just keep it there would be a goal for me this week. So we'll see if I can make that happen. 
First was a Columbia Women's Blue Lightweight Rain Jacket. This was in a size extra large and it sold for $10. I honestly don't know where this came from. I've had it forever. Torrid Maroon Burgundy Madison, Georgia button up top. This is in a 3X. It sold overnight for $17. I just listed it at like 8.30 last night. So super quick sale. Next was a bundle of three items for $50. First for a pair of Can Can High Waisted Wide Leg Jeans. Next, a pair of cabbie drifter corduroy skinny jeans and a free people light purple lace long sleeve top. So that was a great bundle sale. I sold this torrid pink stripe boyfriend blazer in a size 3X for $23. Next was another pair of cabbie pants. These were 100% boyfriend jeans in a size 10 distressed and they sold for 20. I sold these men's Nike Air Zoom Pegasus shoes. I got these at the bins and they sold for $22. Next was a bundle of two items for actually a viewer, Kelly. So thank you so much if you are watching this. I'm hoping to get these out to you today. Hopefully my mailman comes. She bought those bogs that I had in my last thrift haul. If you didn't watch it, I'll link it up here. And she also got a Free People white tunic top that was also in a recent thrift haul. I don't know if it was in the same one now that I'm thinking about it, but I think it might have been. Anyway, she got both of those for $60. So thank you so much, Kelly. If you guys ever see anything you're interested in, please message me. Um, you can buy on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, wherever you like to, or we can do something off platform. Next, we have a pair of Buff Bunny gray snakeskin pocket leggings. These were in a size small and they sold for $15. I sold this men's Calvin Klein blazer. I don't know where this came from. It sold for $16, probably a flip lot or an old thread up men's rescue box, which I haven't gotten forever. Um, this next item sold within hours as well. It was a cabby navy blue slant pocket cardigan sweater and it sold for $23. Next was a pair of just black jeans. These also sold very quickly. These were high rise cropped flare demi jeans in a size 28. They sold for $21. I sold, I sold this Escada jacket. Um, I have had this thing for a really long time. For some reason, I cannot sell this brand very well. I don't know if you guys have any better luck with it. It's very expensive but very slow moving for me and does not usually sell for that much. It sold for $20, so glad to get that moving. Next were a pair of Nao shoes. These I had for not very long. They were a size 40 and they were a lace up suede style. They sold for $29. Next, I sold a pair of cabby pants. These were the fall 2021 dinner trouser is the style name of them. And they sold for $25. Next were a pair of free people leggings that I've had forever and I sold them for five. <laughs> You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> so, amazing sale. I sold these Dansko black leather Franny slip-on comfort shoes in a size 39 for $20. Next was a bundle of two Harry Potter items. These came from Grace's clean out of her room. It was a Slytherin cup and a Slytherin sweatshirt. She got both of those at Universal Studios, I think. They sold together for $40. This next item sold very quickly as well. So loving these quick flips. This was a Max Mara ivory cream wool blend turtleneck sweater. I found this at a local thrift store in Council Bluffs. It sold super quick for $80. So that was amazing. I had it listed over a hundred, but when I get an $80 offer, like within a day for something I paid $5 for, I'm going to take it. Another pair of skinny jeans. These were Levi's 720 high rise, super skinny jeans sold for two. They sold for $10. Glad to move them. Um, Judy Blue mid-rise bootcut jeans in a size 30 sold for $23. Next was another Bolo brand, Viore. This was a navy blue daydream crew deck. I found this at the same time as I found that Max Mara sweater and it sold very quickly within a day for $36. This next item also sold very quickly. It was a Lily Pulitzer white Natalie cover-up. This was in a size extra large and it sold for $40. Next was a J. Crew Leopard open cardigan sweater in a size medium that sold for $23. I sold these New With Tags Loft linen pants. I hardly ever pick up the brand Loft, but I will get it New With Tags if it has like either a really good size, possibly style or good material. This one had the good material of linen and they sold for $18. Next was a North Face teal men's shirt. I got this in a flip lot. I wouldn't just pick up a random North Face t-shirt at the thrift store. It sold for $9. Um, Bowden navy blue short sleeve button front dress in a size 14 sold for 21. Another item from Grace's room. These were some Nike slide sandals. She barely wore them. They sold for 11. 
Next was an Alice and Olivia sweater, but it kind of seemed like a really old tag. This came to me in a flip lot. It was V-neck size large and it sold for 25. Next is a bundle of three skinny jeans. Again, glad to move them. They were all American Eagle, all size four, and they sold for $20. I sold this Coach Black Poppy Outline Satchel. This I've had for a really long time and it sold for $30. So I'm glad to keep moving these old items. This was a bundle of two items. One was a pair of Keen Newport sandals and the next were a pair of black Spanx shapewear shorts. They sold together for $40. A bundle of $200. So that was amazing. Some of the things were really old. Some of them were things I got from flip flops that I didn't want. So let me go through this. Are you ready? LL Bean Maroon Fleece Snap Pullover. Balanced Athletica Purple Long Sleeve T-Shirt. Limited Red Scallop Summer Shorts. Athleta Women's White Fitted Long Sleeve Top. Vintage Linda Allard Ellen Tracy Mohair Sweater. Loft Cotton Linen Blend Tan Shorts. Athleta Nirvana Sherpa Sweatshirt. Simple Linen Embroidered Light Pink Woven Top. Cupcakes and Cashmere Raglan Sleeve Top, J. Crew Merino Wool Angora Rabbit Hair Sweater, Coach Avery Leather Small Hobo Bag, Lorna Jane Black White Striped Jacket, Ellie Tahari Pinstripe Wide Leg Pants, Calvin Klein Black Puffer Vest, and a pair of Athleta Leggings. So again, I had countered higher than that, but when she counter offered $200 and I saw that three quarters of the items were things that I've had for probably over six months, or things that I didn't really want from flip lots, I was like, I'm taking this and just moving a lot of inventory. Next was an Athleta Gray Pattern Twist Top. This sold for $12. I sold this Buff Money Quilted Pink Faux Leather Moto Jacket for $19. And that's it for my Poshmark sales, guys. That is all my sales for this week. I hope you guys are having a really good sales week. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up on the way out if you haven't yet. I'll be back on Sunday with another Thread Up Mystery unboxing for you. So I'll see you then. Bye.